So I recently watched a uh, video, it was a uh, presentation that Douglas Crockford gave uh, at JS Fest back in 2018. And one of the things I thought was interesting about it was, uh, uh, if you're not familiar with Douglas Crockford, he wrote a book that's very popular with developers called uh, JavaScript, The Good Parts. And uh, his presentation was called The Better Parts. And he was talking about some of the newer features and stuff that, was, that are available in JavaScript and some of the things that, you know, been there for a while that maybe we should be using. Um, but he had some pretty interesting points about uh, object creation and how we should be creating objects. And so uh, what I've decided to do is show a couple of different examples of how you can create a, an object in uh, JavaScript and uh, how what's one of the newer ways you could do it and then the way that uh, Douglas Crockford uh, recommends that we create objects. So let's take a quick look and see what that looks like. Okay, so I have Visual Studio Code open up here. And the way that, uh, if you want to create an object in JavaScript, the way that it was recommended was that you create a function. In this case, I'm creating a function to create an object for a person. And then what I'm doing here is uh, in that function, I'm treating it like a constructor. And I'm taking the parameters in here and then I'm setting them to the this keyword. And then I'm returning this. And then I'm adding additional methods to this by uh, essentially, like in this case, uh, I'm just assigning uh, like the get full name here to the prototype object uh, to an anonymous function here. In this case, the get full name is taking the first name and last name and then returning that. And then I have another method that I've uh, created here that's doing essentially the same thing, but in this case, it's not returning a thing. It's just executing a console log with a description of the object. And then if you look down here, you can see that I'm using the new keyword to uh, create a new uh, version of this. And then I can call the methods just like I would with a you know class-based based language similar to uh, uh, C Sharp or uh, Objective C, Swift, one of those. The next example here is a class uh, is using the class keyword to create a class-based uh, object, and this is very common in Java, uh, you know, C Sharp, C++, and those languages. Uh, those are class-based object-oriented languages. And you can see pretty much uh, now we can actually encapsulate the, uh, those methods uh, inside of this uh, class scope here. And then the constructor is an actual constructor object. Uh, we're still using the this keyword here, but this pretty much works exactly the same as just it's using the class keyword. And one of the points that uh, Douglas Crocker made was that they did this primarily for the people that were coming to uh, JavaScript from languages like C Sharp and Java because they didn't want to uh, have to learn a new language. And so there's a joke that he uses, which is that JavaScript is the only language he knows of that nobody bothers trying to learn the language before using it. And so this is something that was put in, I'd say, probably about four years ago as part of the ES6 2016 specification. Um, but he had a recommendation, which I thought was pretty nice, which is uh, how we should actually be creating objects inside of JavaScript. And so in this example here, uh, what I've done is I've created a new function, but what I'm doing is I'm using a feature in JavaScript that's uh, not available in a lot of different object oriented languages, which is the ability to essentially have functions inside of functions. And so here we have this uh, get full name and get description, but one of the things you'll notice here is that since these are inside the scope of the first function, I can actually pass in those parameters into these other functions and I don't have to use the this keyword. So that's actually quite nice. And then to return a, an object that essentially does the same thing, what I'm doing here is I'm returning an object. And one of the recommendations that Douglas Crockford also made is that if you want somebody to uh, essentially make changes uh, to the this object if you're trying to treat it like a class, one of the things you can do is you can say object that freeze. And what that'll do is that will actually freeze this object so that it can't be modified once it's been created. And then here, instead of using the new keyword, I'm just calling the function. It's actually creating a new uh, object and then uh, it's executing. It works pretty much the same way as the, the first two examples, but this, I think, is a lot cleaner because you're not having to use this keyword and you're not having to use the new keyword. So 
Uh, if you like this, you know, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll try to respond to the uh, uh, to those uh, comments as quickly as possible. Have a nice evening.